morning lads and lasses, Irish Demon here back with another video. Now today we are going to be having a look at a few Karens. Now Karens are bad enough as it is. When you walk into the store and you see one waiting at the counter like this for the manager, you're like, oh, please don't make me run into this bitch. Can you imagine being locked in a vehicle with one of these people? That's why I'm going to show you this video. This is a collection of Uber and Lyft Karens. Enjoy. It gets pretty damn crazy. In the car, sir. You're on video. You we just got out. out. We can't get out. You're on we video. You just got out. out. Help! 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 So funnily enough, as vile as some of these people are later on in the video, this is the one that actually bothers me the most. What a lot of people don't realize is that when you do that, when you scream like that in a vehicle, especially when you've got no reason to, you are putting that man's life at risk. If the police were to walk past or drive along and hear you screaming in the car, they could easily end up shooting somebody like that because of a misunderstanding. Now, in this scenario, I, I did actually read about this one. Um, she was able to get out of the vehicle. She refused to get out of the vehicle. He asked her to leave. And when he called the police on his, you know, in-car phone or whatever, she went apeshit, just simply trying to get the man in trouble. Now, that to me is horrific and it just should not happen. It is absolutely awful. I used to see this shit a lot, actually, when I used to work the clubs. And you would do, you know, you'd be removing somebody be like, get off, he touched my bab, he touched my bab. And it's like, no, he fucking didn't. You're just saying that to get a reaction. And guess what? Karen, drunk Karen, it doesn't fucking work. You just get looked at like you're an absolute mess. Anyway, let's move on. Hi. Hey. What name? So how it works. Except it is. No, it's not. No. Say the name. No. No, you're a piece of shit. Hello. Hi. Mind if I uh, confirm the name? Yeah, uh, who are you picking up? No, I'm supposed to get that from you. No, you're actually supposed to say my name. No, I'm, I'm not. I'm Christina, I know you are, but... No, I'm not, actually. No, it's And you are going to... Alright, so some of you might be a little bit confused about what just happened over those past two clips. Now, I used to drive Uber for about a week when I was in between jobs, just to keep things ticking over, and I did some Uber Eats, which was way easier, but when you're picking up passengers, they're supposed to tell you their name so that you can confirm that you have the right person in the vehicle. So, if I pull up and I say, you know, Johnny O, is it? And then the person there goes, yep. Guess what? I'm going to take them on a spin and Johnny O's going to end up paying for it if it's the wrong person. So that's why the passenger needs to confirm their name with you so that if it's the wrong person, they don't get in the wrong vehicle. Um, it does happen a lot and then it's untraceable and it causes a lot of difficulties. Uh, so yeah, anyway, it, that's not a big deal like uh, of all of these, but it is pretty important. If you're not an Uber person, then you, you probably wouldn't think it's that important, but it is. But anyway... This next one is a vile, like absolutely blood curdling vileness. It's awful. Because I can't way. leave here because I gotta pick up my son. I know, but I can't. I wouldn't have attention. hired you as my driver if you were gonna do this to me. I'm gonna be the biggest complaint to live there okay. is. Oh my god, you are the worst driver I've ever had. Okay. Ever fucking had. You're disgusting. Okay. Fifteen minutes? I've had people wait longer. That's other people. Well, okay. you can't get me out of your car, though. Really? Thank you. Have a good day. Happy Valentine's Day. What an entitled brat. I've had people wait longer. Guess what, Karen? This is his car. If he doesn't want to take you, he doesn't have to take you. As for you saying you can't get me out of your car, you want to fucking bet? If it was me, I would just skull drag you out of the car if you refuse to get out of it. Because as soon as I tell you to leave and you don't, you're trespassing. And then my safety comes into it. So guess what? If I tell you you're getting out of the car, one way or the other, you are getting out of the car. I don't care who you are. Talking like that in front of your kid, that's a piece of shit move, man. No, no, fuck you. I'm here to pick up my kid, and you're making it more difficult on me because you're being an asshole. So fuck you. Oh, no, God. not happy Valentine's Day. You can go fuck yourself, and I'm going to give you the biggest fucking complaint I've ever given to you. I've never given a bad complaint. Okay. You're a fucking twarable Lyft driver. So apparently he's a fucking twarable Lyft driver, whatever that means. Look, 
at the end of the day, he's a Lyft driver, okay? Now, a lot of these guys are professionals, absolutely. But they're in their own vehicles. It's usually considered kind of a side job to get into somebody's somebody else's car and be that disrespectful. Just you, whoever's watching this right now, could you picture yourself in that scenario at either side of it? What would you do? Would you treat a Lyft driver, even if they were being an asshole, would you treat him like that? I wouldn't. I'd say, hey, dude, can you just pull over? I'm going to get a different driver. If you were the driver, how would you feel? I know how I'd feel, and that's why I can't drive Uber anymore, because I think I would probably tell people to fuck off way more than I would say, welcome to my vehicle. I just can't be putting up with that kind of shit. Let me know down below what you think. Horrible fucking person. You are, I, all I needed was some help, and you won't even help me. What a disgusting disgrace of a human being you are. You are disgraceful. I hope you go back to where the fuck you came from. What a vile piece of shit, man. Like, not only just the, the little bit of racism at the end, of course there's got to be a bit of racism. Go back to wherever you came from. It's a shitty thing to say, first of all. I wouldn't even worry about that. It's more just that kind of like, kind of attitude of her. Gee, why are you so triggered over a fucking Lyft driver not wanting to waste 15 minutes waiting for your ass? We don't deserve people like you here. And I've never said that to anybody in my life. That's Welcome okay. to my new self. That's You're an not... asshole. Okay. You are a fucking disgusting human being. You're gonna sit here until I get a new ride. Can you get out, please? Not until I get a new ride, because there's no place to go in. So, since you're kicking me out of your car and you told me, I added a goddamn stop on your ride. Please, ma'am, can you leave the car? Nope, not until I get a new lift. You fucked you me. Can go you are gonna sit here until I get a new lift. Eight minutes. Oh, should have just waited, shouldn't you? Have? And I will you not wait the money. eight minutes. I have to leave. Oh, you're not gonna leave and let you with me in the car. I have to. No, you don't have to. That's your choice. Let me just go inside and talk to a police officer. Maybe we'll let you live. What? You're such a disgraceful human being. I hope the fuck. Bad karma, motherfucker. Just wait. You're gonna get the worst goddamn thing come to you in the next fucking two weeks you just watched. He already got the worst damn thing happened to him in the two weeks, and that's you. Can you imagine sitting there, working your ass off? A lot of these guys do like 12, 14 hour shifts, and you have to deal with that bitch. Seriously. Vile, disgusting, racist, and spiteful. Just an all-round horrible, horrible person. Anyway, let's move on, because this bitch is really bugging me, man. Words are powerful. Some yeah, how you doing? Uh, I'm an Uber driver. I have two passengers in the car who are very belligerent, two female drivers. She's telling no, me to shut the fuck true. up. You can speak you're, to us. You're you on camera. Right now. You're on camera Excuse right me. now. Excuse me. You can speak okay. to us right now. Sir, you can speak sir. to us yes. right now. And we are not, so we are not belligerent. You are a liar. You are a liar. You are a liar. Sir, you are a liar. Sir, you are a liar. We are I, not I belligerent, sir. We are not on the belligerent. Of oh my God! Drive. He's kidnapping us. He's kidnapping 45 us. Forty-five. He's kidnapping drive. us. He's kidnapping us. Wait, but the best is that this is. I got dash cams inside. All right, thank you. Yeah. I'm on the corner right, of Anita Drive. No. And you Hanover are, Road. You are a liar. You are a Anita liar. And what? Anita Drive and Hanover Road. You are a liar. He I have a 2016 all, Toyota Camry. And he has a child locked in the car. A child locked in there the car. No we can't get out of the car. So that was the full version of the video that I showed you guys earlier. I forgot that it was actually in this stream. But anyway, as you can see there, they just hit the fucking roof because the guy wants them out of their car. And then basically starts accusing him of kidnapping them and screaming for help. Again, that's the kind of shit that can get somebody killed. That man's really lucky he's got a camera. You never know what these chicks are going to say, especially people who are drunk and out of their fucking minds, be it on drink or drugs. Now, you might say, oh, that's just a stereotypical thing. It happens all the time. Try working in security and you will know what I'm talking about. So don't give me that shit. 
Anyway, let's move on. I'm gonna take you with a car seat. How are we gonna fit a car seat with all of this? He's gonna be fine. Please, sir, it's literally no? 10 minutes away. Yeah, if you but, get uh, a ticket, no, I'll, I'll no, take no, 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 it's not that, it's about an accident. I mean, I understand, but I'm saying. No, I cannot do that. It will be at our fault. No, I cannot do that. Okay, well. I cannot do that. I have to. Why would you not have that? No, 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 no. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. It's not about money. All right, bro. Can you guys start putting that in your description? When you it, it's always there. I mean, obviously it's not. always there. It's always there. Yeah, it's always there that you cannot drive without car seat. I mean, no, it's not always there. I'm saying it, some it people do there. do it, but I'm just saying if you specifically don't do it, can you like start doing that in advance so that it, we don't have to waste yeah. money? I'm not. I don't manage that. I mean, when you oh put all right, I cool. Manage, yeah. Like what the fuck? So, like, what are we supposed to do? Because tell me something. Where is the car seat? Where's it's the at car home. seat? It's at home. Because that's how we because got here. Because someone else took us without it. Did nobody say nothing? If you want to, I can, I can, I can go over your house and bring the chair and I bring, you know. know. But that's doing like so much. My house. Yeah, sorry, no, I cannot do that. Oh my goodness. So sorry about that. Should we see if mom can get us there? At this point. Okay, well, can you just like start making it a tip? I understand that you don't control that. Okay, and so how I understand am I supposed that to get my money rule. back then? Uh -huh. they, they will probably, they, they will give it to you. But I think that it should just be like in your description. Or if, if you're able to put a description, just like. Yeah, I mean, the thing is. I know some people driver, do it though. Any, any driver shouldn't bring you. All I mean, I understand, but some exactly. people do. So since they That's are, the thing, he is yeah. in a lap. Because so, honestly, I mean, you honestly. Be, you should be nice honestly, because I have a three month old and I cannot have her out here. I, I understand, yeah, but. Think uh, about your son. Yeah, exactly. That's what I'm doing, thinking about my son. But I mean, and if I, if I, I will ride, take in my kids without any car seat. A car seat, if, at the end of the day, a car seat is not going to save you. You want someone to spare you because I, I, can, I cannot do that. I cannot do that. Outside. I'm sorry. I cannot do that. Sorry. It's okay. Karma will come back. What is it with Karens and Karma? They, they wield it like it's some kind of a big shitty sword that they've got control over karma. If anybody's going to get karma, it's going to be you. You're the one acting like a complete bitch. So here's the thing, right? Not only would she just not get out of the vehicle when the guy asked her to. Again, it is his property. You are not entitled to stay in his car. If he wants to kick you out, he can kick you out, Karen. That's just how it goes. But not only that, she was willing to put her child's life in danger. Now, this is tough, but I've got to say it. I sadly sat through a, uh, a, a case where a young child was killed in a very similar situation to this. Um, basically, the, the kid was in a car seat, one of those, uh, sorry, one of those carry things, and was unsecured, and sadly, there was a, a really bad crash, and um, yeah the child didn't make it and uh and and there was criminal charges laid against the taxi driver so yes he would be responsible even if you say we take responsibility no the, the buck stops with the driver but that goes both ways if he tells you get out of his car you get the fuck out of his car <laughs> to be fair, I think this lady isn't really a Karen. She was just wasted and had no idea what she was doing. And, you know, you could kind of tell she seemed jolly and, and kind of pretty chill. So she's not the worst of them. But it just goes to show you've got to keep your eyes on somebody when they're intoxicated because you just never know what they're going to get up to. But yeah, I don't think she's a Karen. I think she just, again, just wasted and didn't know what she was doing. Station, and I got injured, I'm bleeding, and they gave me a ticket. 
I've seen this exact scenario before. Uh, again, working clubs, you see a little bit of everything. And it is tough when, I, I would just hate to be the taxi drivers, or in this case, the Uber driver. Uh, when the police remove somebody from a club, if they're being really, really difficult, um, I've, I've got to be honest, right, in my experience, if it's a male, usually they get thrown in the drunk tank. If it's a female, usually they get thrown in the back of a taxi. That's just the way it goes. And I don't think that's fair, not on the guys. Fuck them, if they get drunk and can't handle themselves, that's their own problem. But it's unfair on the taxi drivers and the Uber drivers because they have to put up with this shit after that. I've seen people be dragged out of a club basically unconscious, screaming whatever, and being just thrown into the back of the taxi. And the taxi driver's not really going to say no to a cop. That guy's probably not going to get paid. We used to see it all the time where the taxi driver would come back with the person in the car and be like, this lady does not know where she lives is any of her friends here? And it, almost all the time, it would end up, she would have to go with the cops or an ambulance anyway. So it's just a waste of everybody's time, especially the taxi drivers though. They're the ones I feel bad for because time is money for those guys. Who are you? No, I just asked who are you here to pick up? Taylor? Uh, yeah, 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 Taylor. Yeah, yeah. And wait, 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 I can, Taylor? is there only four people? Yeah, yeah, Taylor. Taylor? Yeah. I can only no, take four why people. Why did you though. just say that? Why what? Okay. Are you good? Good. Yeah, I can only take four people. He can only take four people. What? Is what he said. He can sit on okay, the yeah, 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 lap. Excuse the. No, 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 no. I can only take four. He... What? All right. It's a Prius. Come on. Oh, okay. can you just go, please? No, stop. Are I'm you serious? Dude, he's just comfortable. All right, all right. Let's get out. Let's can start. you cancel? No, you can cancel. No, you can cancel, man. I've been waiting here. No, you can cancel, bro. I can cancel. <laughs> yeah, you can cancel. I just pulled up. Seriously, man. Like, seriously, here. like, you can't take us. First of all, I you asked you who you were four. picking up. All right, you then. asked me who you are pull. you getting. Yeah, because you're, you're, no, that's not how it Just yo, cancel, yo, man. Yo, I got cash. Take I got cash. I got cash. I'll give you extra cash, man. I'm sorry, man. I'll give you extra cash. It's not about the cash, man. It's not about cash. Obviously, it is. You're rude. No, 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 no. Don't, don't. I'm sorry. That's rude. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, man. Let me just give some cash. Yeah. It's not even about so that. Okay, guys, let's get, get out. Let's get out. Let's get out. Alright. Alright. Sorry, I'm not trying to just share more. No, no, it's I'm it's whatever. I'm I'm not stressed. <laughs> yeah, you're fine. Cash? Yeah. Or no? No, 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 no. No, it's, it's not, not good. Even, yeah, it's not no. enough. Nah. No. Nothing? Yeah. Nothing's not enough? If we give you some more cash? No. I think it's just better if you guys left. That's uh -huh. Man, I don't want any cash, man. Okay, that's fair. Yeah, that's fair. Alright, alright. Alright, let's get out. Let's get out. Let's get out. Yeah. Wait, wait, wait. He can't pick up another ride until he thinks he's done with us. So. Yeah, it's fucked up. That's so fucked up. Abby, get out. Abby. No, he's not doing it. He's not doing cash. Abby. No, I don't want it. I don't want it. Because he's Abby. complaining Come about. Yeah. 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 So that's yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> that last video just shows some of the disrespect that these spoilt little brats have towards other people. Throwing seven bucks at a guy and demanding that he drive you with an overloaded vehicle. Again, yeah, if you crash, you might get hurt. You probably will get away with it if it's low speed or whatever so you might be fine but guess what he loses his license and as a result will lose his livelihood just because you demand to go somewhere it's not his fault that you wanted to add extra people into the vehicle that there was no room for so you demanding him to cancel the lift is a shitty thing to do now fair enough she was drunk acting like a bit of a dick but that's no excuse again being drunk, being high is not an excuse for acting like an asshole. If you can't handle your ale or your bud, then don't fucking use it because you're going to have a problem with people in the future. Anyway, lads and lassies, thank you so much for checking in. I really do appreciate it. We are nearly at 3,000 subscribers. We're just over 100 short. So if you're new to the channel and you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. It will go a long way to helping the channel. Make sure to hit that notification bell and uh, like. And the best thing you can do after you like is leave a quick comment down below. It really, really does help the channel. And I really greatly appreciate it. And I try to get back to everybody, uh, you know, as soon as I can, basically. Um, also, there's other ways you can 
can support my channel through Patreon um, or becoming a channel member, which is my favorite. I, I, I don't know why. I just really like seeing the channel members come up in the side chat. Um, and yeah, if you want to donate, irishdemonvids at gmail.com is my PayPal. And I will be, uh, somebody mentioned about putting a, um, a wish list down below for gear and that kind of thing, if anybody's interested in that. Anyway, with that, lads and lassies, thank you so much. Gravmila Margot and Slauncha.